this video tutorial I will cover how to inject a string value using a spring dependency injection by constructor. We can inject the dependency by constructor. Constructor argument is a sub-element of bean. Using that, we can do constructor injection. We can inject primitive values, string-based values, dependent object, and collection values, etc. Here I have defined the class employee. It has two properties, ID and name. And it has three constructors. First constructor accept ID. Second constructor accept name. Third constructor accept ID and name. And it has display employee details method. This is the spring configuration file. Here we have specified employee object should be created by spring container. And name property of employee object should be set as Peter using constructor dependency injection. Here we have specified constructor argument and type as string. This is the constructor which accept string value. So this constructor will be called and name will be set as Peter. What object to instantiate? What object to configure? And how to configure? This information will be there in spring configuration file. In this example we have specified employee object should be created by spring container and name property of employee object should be set as Peter using constructor dependency injection. Spring container read this spring configuration file and it creates employee object and configure the employee object and it manages the complete life cycle of employee object. Here I have defined the class app. Here I have created application context object by reading a spring configuration file using a getbean method I am getting a employee object from spring container and displaying employee details here you can see the output here you can see employee constructor which accept string value has been called and name property of employee object is set as peter 